Saturate me in your anointing, my Jesus. I want you to declare over your own home that the sound of rejoicing will not cease from your home in Jesus' name. So let us go to Psalm 118, Psalm 118, 14 to 15. We're going to declare and say, yes, God is for us. He says, the Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. We're going to say the voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I want you to declare that the voice of rejoicing and salvation is what is going to be in your home Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want us to declare boldly that the Lord is our strength and our song, and he has become our salvation. Let us begin to declare. Let's declare together. Unmute yourself. Let's declare together. Father, we declare, O God Almighty. Amen. Next, we're going to declare, we're still in that Psalm 118, we're going to verse 17. You are going to declare, you are going to say, I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. I want us to declare that boldly. We are saying no to death and destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Even if we're still setting ourselves straight, even if there are things in our lives that we need to correct, we're refusing to die because God says he does not want anyone to perish. So I want you to pray boldly and say, I will not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, we declare Father, we just come before you, Lord Jehovah, we declare, Lord Jesus Christ, oh God, that we shall not die but live, oh Lord Jesus Christ, oh Lord Jehovah, to declare your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. I shall not die, but this is the place of the glory of the Lord in my life, the dead of the Thank you. 
Amen. Next, we're going to Psalm 6, 4 to 5. And we're going to cry to the Lord. It says, return, O Lord, deliver me. O save me for your mercy's sake. For in death, there's no remembrance of you. In the grave, who will give you thanks? We are saying we are refusing to go down to the grave in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are refusing to die. We are saying, Lord, deliver us, O God. Not for any works of righteousness, but because of your grace, O God, and for your mercy's sake. I want you to declare over yourself that you're not going down to the grave, that nobody in your home is going down to the grave. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we are going to declare boldly that God himself with our salvation is our redeemer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's come against death and destruction right now. Father, Lord, this is your word, oh God. We cry out to you, God. We say, return, oh Lord, and deliver me, oh God. Oh, save me for your mercy's sake in the name of Jesus Christ. For in death, there's no remembrance of you. In Family, the of God, you shall make go make down to the grave. For in death, Lord, there is no remembrance of you. Father, Lord, in Jesus' name. Therefore, we shall we refuse to die. We do not allow any member of our family to be taken away by baba ma shegele bo soko loko soko to ma de 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 regele bo soko loko soko to baba 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 regele bo ko soko loko soko to di ande my life oh god will speak of your goodness and your mercy my life will speak of your power in the name of jesus christ e gala ba ka jeke se bo ko soko loko soko to baba 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 Thank you, Father. We give you praise, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen and amen. 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 Let's go to Isaiah 53, 4 to 6. Thank you, Jesus Christ. It says, surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Even if you have gone astray, the Bible says God has laid upon him the iniquity of us all. And here's the deal, go and sing no more, but we shall not die in sin in Jesus' name, and sin will not rubbish our destinies. I want you to cry out and say, Lord, the things that Jesus Christ has taken away will not be seen in my life. Amen. And because of that, I ask, oh God Almighty, that you pour out your fresh anointing upon my life. Let's cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, fresh grace this evening in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, oh God, because the things that Jesus Christ has taken away will not be seen in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you want to unmute yourself, unmute yourself so that we pray together. Amen. I'm going to read uh, Isaiah 53, 4 to 6 again in the Amplified Classic. It says, surely he has borne our griefs, sicknesses, weaknesses, and distresses. 
and carried our sorrows and pains of punishment. Yet we ignorantly considered him stricken, smitten, and afflicted by God as if with leprosy. But he was wounded for our transgressions. I want somebody to say he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for was my guilt for and my iniquity. The chastisement needful to obtain peace and well-being for us was upon him. And with his stripes that wounded him, we are healed and made whole. Today we are crying out for wholeness. Wholeness in our spirit, wholeness in our bodies, wholeness in our souls in Jesus' name. It says, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord made to light upon him the guilt and the iniquity of us all. Jesus took it all away. It was made a curse for us. Because the Bible says, curse is everyone who hangs on a tree. So we have been redeemed from the curse of the law. No more curses in Jesus' name. I want you to open your mouth and declare boldly that you shall not die but live to declare the wondrous works of the Lord Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. The Bible says he took the sicknesses, the weaknesses, and the distresses. And as we are praying this evening, we're, re we're, we're, we're getting strength. We're, we're receiving strength from the almighty God. So even in every area of weakness, we're going to, we're going to triumph in Jesus' name. Amen. Sin will not have dominion over us. We are not under the law, we are under grace. Enough of sin, enough of depravity. So I want us to pray and say the things that Jesus has taken away will not be found in my life, will not be found over my life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I declare with boldness this afternoon that the things that you have taken away will not be found in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm not under the subjection of sin and depravity in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, I declare boldly that righteousness is my portion, that I've been made the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the rewards of righteousness will be seen in my life and in my home. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now that you are changing me by your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Lord, in every area we are weak, in every area, oh God, where there are easily besetting sin, I'm rising above those situations now in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against the long death, the long sin and death in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the law of life in Christ Jesus Christ has made us free from the law of sin and death in the name of Jesus Christ. We say, Lord God Almighty, righteousness is our default mode in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holiness is by default mode in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name we have prayed. Amen. Let's move on to Psalm 103. We're going to read Psalm 103, 1 to 5. Please make sure you're praying. Let us pray. It says, bless the Lord, O my soul. I want you to speak to your own soul. Speak to yourself. Speak to, speak to your mind. Speak to every part of yourself. And it says, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquities? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles? It's time to see good things because we are doing the will of the Lord. So I want you to pray and say, Lord God Almighty, this is what your word says. So I will not be under the subjection of sin and depravity Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me read um, verses 1 and 5 from the Amplified. It says, who redeems your life from the pit and corruption? We are not going down to the pit in Amen. Jesus' name. Who beautifies, dignifies, and crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy? Who satisfies your mouth, your necessity and desire at your personal age and situation? There are age relevant blessings. We will not miss out on them in Jesus' name. Amen. With good so that your youth is renewed like the eagles, strong, 
overcoming and soaring in Jesus' name. Amen. And as you are praying, as we are praying this afternoon, I want you to look at any difficult area. We are seeing as refuse to let you go and say I'm more than a conqueror in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the Bible says it makes us strong overcoming and soaring in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Lord, I bless your holy name, oh God. Lord, I'm grateful for all you've done for me, oh God Almighty. Lord, I declare boldly that as you have made me the righteousness of God in Christ, no sin, no depravity, no spot, no blemish in my life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, O oh God, because your word says that you forgive all my iniquities, O oh God. Father, Lord, I ask for forgiveness, O oh God, for sins of omission and commission, for things that I've done wrong unknowingly and knowingly, O oh God. Father, forgive us as your children, everything that has taken away power from the body of Christ, oh God. We say, Lord, forgive each and every one of us. We bring ourselves to you, God Almighty. And we say, Lord God Almighty, we want to be children that you can count on in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, the Bible says you redeem our lives from destruction. So, Lord, I thank you, oh God, and you crown us with loving kindness and tender mercies. Lord, that's what you do. You satisfy our mouth, oh God, with our necessity and desires, our personal age and situation with good, so that our youth is renewed like the eagle, strong and overcoming and soaring in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Now we are going to pray because we've read this evening that the price for our peace was, was laid upon him and he paid the price for our wholeness. So I want you to declare over yourself that you are, you, are, you are an oak of righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that you are the embodiment of holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. I want us to declare today, and I want you to speak to yourself, to say, I'm righteousness personified Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'm the one that somebody will see and then know that Jesus is alive. I will reflect the glory of the living King. Well, you are going to curse every area of your life that does not give glory to Jesus Christ. You are going to speak out and say, I was not created for sin and depravity. I was not created for weakness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to speak and say, wholeness, nothing missing. Amen. That is your portion in Jesus' name. Wholeness, nothing shameful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And as we are praying, I want us to come against powerlessness. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 4.20, that the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. And we're the custodians of God's power. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let's all cry out loud, out loud together. Lord God Almighty, I declare over myself that I'm an oak of righteousness and the embodiment, embodiment of holiness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, I declare in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that I'm goodness personified and righteousness personified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare, oh God Almighty, that I'm Christ-like in everything that I do. I speak to myself. I speak to my spirit, soul, and body that Christ lives in us in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ, I shut the door on everything that is not of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to pray out loud. I say I am the model of Christ. I, I my life reflects Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, my life will reflect the glory of the risen King. In the name of Jesus Christ, the words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, and my actions, everything concerning me will reflect the glory of the risen King. Rekatabaka, take it, my de 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 de
Everything in me will speak of the goodness and the mercies of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come against powerless, with powerlessness in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every weakness in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we come against powerlessness in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against deceptions in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deceptions of the pits of hell in the name of Jesus Christ. Colossians 3, remember yesterday we declared, we said our case is different. And the main reason why our case is different is that we have been raised with Christ. Our lot is different. Before I go to Colossians 3, I'll go to Ephesians 2 verse 6. It says, and he raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That is where we are. So we're going to operate from above in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Colossians 3 now says, if then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. For you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is our life appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. I want us to cry out and say, Lord, the grace to seek those things which are above Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace to set our minds on things above in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Begin to cry out for yourself and say, I just don't want to be an earthly person. I don't want to be a carnal person. The carnal mind cannot see God. It is not submitted to God. It cannot understand God. It cannot understand the will of God. It cannot really enjoy the blessings of the Lord. I want us to begin to cry out and say, Lord, we have been raised with Christ. We are going to seek those things which are above. Let us pray. Father, Lord God Almighty. Father, Lord, I pray for myself this afternoon, oh God, that as I've been raised with Christ, I will seek those things that are above in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, I pray for myself, oh God, that I will set my mind on things above, not on things on the earth, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Pray for yourself. Father, Lord God Almighty, we declare in the name of Jesus Christ that we will set our minds on things that are above in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I just want us to look at verse 3, and then I'll go back to verse 1. But verse 3 says, for you died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. And I want us to speak to ourselves from a place of confidence in this word that no coronavirus will eject you out of your body Amen. because your life is hidden with Christ in God. Amen. No sickness, no disease in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No sudden accidents in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know what coronavirus has as the ultimate is death. 
and death has been around for the longest time. God has kept us. And the God who has kept us thus far will continue to keep Amen. us. So we'll not be afraid Amen. of coronavirus. If we've been declaring from the beginning that it will not come near us, and we see it encroaching in on our, on our territories, then we need to declare more and say it will not come near us. Yeah. If Satan is getting bolder, we have to become aggressive and say you still will not come near us. That yeah. is the word of the Lord. And you know, as we are speaking to ourselves, we are saying each one will go and sin no more. Amen. Sin attracts Satan and Satan knows his right. But the Bible says if we have been raised with Christ, then our lives are hidden with Christ in God. So I want you to declare boldly, to say, I shall not die. And I will declare the, 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 the glory of the Lord. If you're already sick, let me tell you what the Bible says. The Bible says, if there's anyone that is sick, then let the elders anoint him. It says, if he has committed any sin, it will be forgiven him. But the deal is go and sin no more. We cannot continue in sin and expect grace to abound. We have not been saved unto unrighteousness. We have been saved unto righteousness. And we are slaves of righteousness. But I want us to rise up and understand the finished work of the cross and refuse to die in these times in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, Lord God, this is your word, O God. So, Lord, I declare, O God, that my life is hidden with Christ in God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My new life, my real life is hidden with Christ in God because as far as this world is concerned, we have died and now we have this life that is hidden with Christ. So we refuse for, 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 for shame and disgrace to come near us. We refuse for death and destruction to come near us in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare boldly that our portion is to live a long and an healthy life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, oh God, that with long life you will satisfy us and you will show us your salvation. Father, Lord, we say our portion is not long life and sorrow because you have taken away our sorrow. Our portion is not long life and grief because you have taken away our grief. So God, our portion is long life, peace, and prosperity in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our portion is long life, holiness and righteousness. Our portion is long life and fruitfulness in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I'm going to take us back to Colossians 3, verse 1. Now in the Amplified, it says, If then you have been raised with Christ to a new life, thus sharing his resurrection from the dead, because that's why we can declare that our lives are hidden in Christ. It says, Aim at and seek the rich eternal treasures that are above, where Christ is and seated at the right hand of God. Mm -hmm. We are going to pray for ourselves and say, Lord, wisdom to lay up treasures in heaven, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, where moth and rust cannot destroy and where the thief cannot break in and steal. Amen. So I want you to pray and say, Lord, from today onwards, from this moment, oh God, the wisdom to lay up eternal treasures Amen. in the Amen. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, we come, oh God almighty, and we ask, oh God, for the grace, oh God, to lay up treasures in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, grace, O oh God, to lay up incorruptible treasures in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, grace for me to set my eyes on things that do not perish in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, help me, oh God, help me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. 
In Jesus' name we are praying. Please, if you can open to Colossians 3, I'm going to ask you to please open and let's go to verse 5 in the Amplified. If you are there, just put up your hand. Just show by raising your hand. I just want us to look at what the word says. So we just don't pray without seeing it. Amen. One hand is up. Two, three, four, five. Let's, let's open. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Let's look into the word of liberty so that we can be set free. Please just go to Colossians 3, verse 5. The Amplified Classic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's look at it together. So I want to go to verse 1, but I'll just read the first phrase there. It says, if then you have been raised with Christ. Now jump to verse 5. It says, so kill, deaden, deprive of power. Let's not feed the desires of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, the, the, the lust of the eyes. Let us not feed the ways of the world. Let us not conform to the ways of the world. Let us be transformed by the renewing of our minds. That is why we are Christians. We've been sent here, sent here as ambassadors, the carriers of God's power. That's why we are here. We haven't been sent here to conform and fall for every depravity of man. So it's a so kill, dead and deprive of power, the evil desire lurking in your members. Those animal impulses and all that is earthly in you that is employed in sin. It's, it now goes on, it says sexual vice, impurity, sensual appetites, unholy desires, and all greed and covetousness. For this is idolatry, the, de the, the define of self and other created things instead of God. We have exalted many gods, many, many gods. And these things do not save on the day of adversity. I want you to cry and say, Lord, today. And you know the area that you need to deaden. You know the things that you need to deprive of power. So I want you to pray for yourself. Mention the sin. If you are lying, we know that liars don't make it to heaven. If you are full of anger, you know that the anger of man does not bring about the righteousness of God. Whatever it is that we are not doing right, if we're greedy, then let's face it. Whatever it is, if we're lazy, God has not created us for laziness and slothfulness. If we're backbiters, if we're gossips, we need to deal with it. If we have unbelief, this is the time to deal with it. If we're just sorrowful, you've heard today that God has taken away your sorrow. I want us to focus on ourselves now. Remember yesterday we said, it's not about the plank that is in your brother's eyes. It's, about, it's not about the speck that is in your brother's eyes. It's about the plank that is your own eyes. If you are full of fear, Today is the day we remember that God has not given us the spirit of fear. If we are, if, 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 if we are, um, if we are trading the gospel for money, you know, this is the time to stop. If we are peddling the gospel of Christ for money, we need to stop. If we are full of pride, the Bible says God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Whatever your unique case may be, if you're afraid of death, remember that God has taken away the fear of death. We will not die but live to declare the glory of God. If we're dishonest, ah, you know that it cannot, it, you cannot go into the kingdom of God. Whatever it is, hidden sins, let us address those things boldly and let us deprive them of power. Let us pray for ourselves. If we have exalted money above God, the Bible says you cannot serve God and mammon. Lord, help me, O God Almighty. Your word says we should kill, dead, and deprive of power. So, Lord God Almighty, I come against everything that is not of you, that is in my life, O God Almighty. Lord, help me, O God Almighty. Wash me today, O God. Make me as white as snow, O God Almighty. Reka shegete bozoko toli yandi. Ma ba 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 ba. Regele boko zoko roko zoko to. Ba 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 ba. Regele bo shata yandi dere. Ba 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 ba. Regele bo zoko roko zoko to. Ma shegele bo zoko roko zoko to. Ba 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 ba. Regele boko zoko rikata. Engele boko zeke de teke. Ba 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 ba. Regele boko zoko to. Regele boko zoko roko zoko to. Ba 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 ba. Regele boko zoko roko zoko roko zoko to. Ma 
Lord, help me, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I hope you still have your Bible. Let's go on to verse 8. Let's go on to verse 8. It says, but now put away and reach yourselves completely of all these things. Anger, rage, bad feeling towards others, curses and slander, and foul-mouthed abuse, and shameful utterances from your lips. Do not lie to one another, for you have stripped off the old, unregenerate self with all its evil practices, and have clothed yourselves with a new spiritual self, which is ever in the process of being renewed and remolded into fuller and more perfect knowledge upon knowledge after the image, the likeness of him who created it. Allow me to read it in the NKJV. It says, but now you yourselves are to put off all this, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth. Do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Where there's neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Cynthia, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. I want us to pray. You know the things that you need to put off. Put them off and let Christ be in all of us. And let Christ be our all in all, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's our desire, that by the time we finish this fast, many people will see many Jesuses walking on the face of the earth, that people will begin to see Christ, that when we go as people will see Christ, when we're talking, people will hear Christ, when we're dealing with people, they will experience Christ. I want you to pray and put off all these things. Father, Lord God Almighty, I just put off everything that is not of you, oh God. Father, Lord, help me, oh God Almighty. Let me not be the one that would lie to anyone just because I don't want to rock the boat, just because I don't want to shake anything. Lord, help me, oh God Almighty. Let me be true, oh God Almighty. Father, Lord, let the old man go in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord God Almighty, let me not let me not blaspheme in any way, oh God. Let no filthy language come out of my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me do away with any and every kind of malice in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let anger not rule my life. Let there be no wrath in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I pray for myself and I pray for my brothers and my sisters that will put up all these things, all the things that do not please your God. Lord, I pray for baby, oh God. I pray for myself, Jehovah, that I will be fully pleasing unto you, oh God, that when you look at me, oh God, there will be no spot, there will be no blemish in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I come, oh God, and I say, Lord, I want to be a woman that you can count on, oh God. I want to be a soul that is fully dedicated to you, my Father, Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty, let it be, oh God, that my reverence of you will come from deep within me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my worship be true, oh God. Let my prayers be true, oh God. Let my declarations be true, oh God. Let my character reflect Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 So I'm going to back up now. I want to go to um, um, verse 6. It says, because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. We are going to cry out and say, Lord, take away every seed of disobedience. Because what we want to enjoy is the goodness of God, not the wrath of God. So I want us to come against the root of disobedience. That when God says, keep quiet, we feel that we must talk. 
when God says, oh, um, hold your peace, I know that I'm God. You say, no, 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 God, you are not getting it. I'm the God in this situation. No, he is God, we are not. We are the sheep of his pasture. We belong to him. And you're going to speak to yourself and say, I belong to God. So disobedience has no place in my life, has no root in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I will not fall under the wrath of God, but I will fall under the blessings and the goodness of the almighty God, because that's what Jesus has obtained for me. But he has now commanded us to go and sin no more. So I want us to come against disobedience. The Bible says, if you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. It's time for Christians to eat the good of the land and eat it in holiness and righteousness, Amen. not in toil and greed and in all these things that we have brought upon ourselves. So we're going to cry and say we come against the root of disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for yourself. Father, Lord, I just come against the root of disobedience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, today I declare over my life that I've been willing and obedient, oh God Almighty. I will conform to your will in all things, oh God. I will submit to your will in all things, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, I receive grace. I receive the grace that you have poured out, oh God, to live a life of obedience in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I'm still in Colossians 3, but now I'm reading from the NKJV. Please come there with me. Because when God says put off, then he says put on. Now we are going to verse 12. It says, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on. The same God who said, put off all this. And the one who says, put to death this one, these things is now saying, put on these things. And this evening, I want you to speak to yourself and call your name and say, this is what you're putting on. Eh? This is your robe. This is your cloak. This is what you're going to be covered it, covered with because it's going to work from the inside out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This is what you're going to embrace. Speak to yourself. It says, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, enough of pride in the body of Christ. Enough is enough. We have taken up onto ourselves things that God has not given us. We have taken upon ourselves titles that God has not given us. And then these titles just inflate our ego. And then we walk around with a chip on our shoulders. And that's not what Jesus taught us to do. So now I want us to come against pride and don't and come against pride in your own life. Even if you don't have any title, you, I, you, there's pride somewhere. So deal with it. The Bible says, let's put on humility, meekness, long suffering, bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you must also do. We don't forgive ourselves. We are quick to walk away from people because they've offended us. So now God is saying, listen, this is how to be like Jesus, forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you almost must, must do. If Christ will forgive our trespasses the way we are forgiving people, nobody will survive. So I want you to pray for yourself and say, I'm putting on, put it on now. Tender mercies. Father, Lord, help me, O oh God. This is your word. Lord, I, I know that you have elected me for a purpose, O oh God. And the Bible says, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies. Lord, I gave me so that I put on tender mercies kindness, humility, meekness, long suffering. Lord, I will learn how to bear with other people. I will learn again to forgive, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, teach me, oh God, to forgive people, but as you forgive my trespasses, oh God Almighty, help me, Jehovah, help me to reflect Jesus in my dealings with everyone, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, help me, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mande de 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 de, mashegele boko zokorikata. Mande de 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 de, 
Lord, help me, O God. Teach me to forgive, O God, as you forgive. Teach me to love as you love. Teach me to see your people through your eyes, O God Almighty. Give me a heart like yours, O God. Make me a compassionate woman, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let me be a true daughter of Zion that reflects the virtues of my Father in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Then verse 14 says, But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection, and let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which also you were called in one body, and be thankful. Many of us are thankless people, and we're not grateful. So we see a miracle today. God does something big today. By tomorrow, we are forgotten, and we're complaining. And these are the things God is telling us not to do. The children of Israel came out of Egypt, and they complained, and they kept complaining until the Lord said to them that they would not make it to the promised land. And he says, we shouldn't do that. So we are going to pray for ourselves and say, Lord, let me remain thankful. And this is the day you should even remember things that he did a long time ago, because he did those things then. And if we keep thanking him, God will do more. I will share a testimony here. I believe that God has given me a spirit of gratitude and I'm trusting God that I'll never lose it. Sometimes I'm thanking God and God will say, are you still thanking me for that? And then he will do something new. So this generation, you know, even children are not appreciative of what parents do. And we're wondering why. It's because we also don't appreciate the things that God has done for us. We don't appreciate them for too long. We're quick to forget his mercies, his, his benefits. So today we're praying, we're saying, Lord God Almighty, help me, oh God. Let me put on love. Let me put on everything that is in Christ. And let the peace of God rule in my heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ. And let me be a thankful person. Let, let, let me be a grateful person from my heart. Let me embrace gratitude like no one else in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, please help me, O oh God. Teach me to put on love in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, the Bible says love is a bond of perfection. Let me love the things that you love, oh God, and let me hate the things that you hate in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, and I pray, oh God, that I will not be anxious for anything, but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, I will make my request known unto you, and the peace of God that passes on human understanding will guard my heart and my mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me be thankful, oh God Almighty, Lord, for everything that you've done for me. Lord, I want to say thank you. Lord, I thank you for the teaspoons in my house. I thank you for the grains of rice. I thank you for everything you've done for me. I thank you that when I wake up in the morning, Nobody needs to assist me to get out of bed. I thank you for my eyes that they see. I thank you for my ears that they hear. I thank you that, Lord, when I chew, nobody needs to assist me to swallow. I thank you that I'm not being fed through a tube today, oh God. I thank you, God Almighty, that my mind is coherent, oh God, that my thoughts are straight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I bless you, oh God. I worship you, oh God Almighty. Keep me grateful, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Verse 16 says, Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonish, admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. It says, Let the word of God dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. It's time to sing from our heart. It doesn't matter what's going on. The Bible says we are more than conquerors. So it doesn't matter what has gone wrong. We are going to be victorious. And we are going to start practicing our victory from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What you do is what you attract. What you do in your heart is what comes to you. It says singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Why is it put like this? Because the Bible knows that sometimes it's just difficult to sing. And then he said with grace, with divine enablement. That's how we sing. And he said whatever you do in word or deed, do all, all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. I want us to cry and say, Lord, the word of Christ will dwell richly in me. It's about me today. Father, Lord, 
Let the word of Christ dwell rich in me, oh God. Let me be able to study myself, to study, oh God, to prove myself, to show myself approved unto you, my God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, help me, oh God, to spend time in your presence, oh God, in fellowshipping with you and in reading your word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let the word of Christ dwell in me richly, oh God. Father, that's my portion in Jesus' name. Cause me to be the teacher, oh God, who will teach someone the way of Christ. Cause me to be the one who will admonish someone to follow the way of Christ, oh God. And Lord, I pray, oh God, that I will sing with grace in my heart to the Lord. And Lord, whatever I do in my words or my deeds, oh God, Father, let me do all in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God the Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Now let's go to Matthew 5, 14 to 16. Matthew 5, 14 to 16 says, You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we will not be hidden. We are going to shine for the world to see. Many of us will come out of obscurity to shine for Jesus. He says, nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. He says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. We are going to pray for ourselves. And you know, in everything, we're going to shine before men. This evil fashion of going naked, of dressing like crazy people, that we say God sees the heart, but men see your body, men see your appearance. So we're going to cry out and say in everything, oh God, we're going to shine as light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Not everybody's looking at the heart because not everybody can see the heart. And we have been sent here as, as light, lighthouses, trailblazers, way, way makers. That's why we're here. So I want you to pray and say, Lord, your word is I'm the light of the world. I want to begin to shine for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's begin to pray. Father, Lord God, we thank you, God. Lord God Almighty, make me a true shining light in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, I'm the light of the world. If I don't shine, there'll be darkness in the world. Lord, help me to shine, oh God. Let me be like a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden, my Father. Father, Lord, help me, oh God. And Lord, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, my light will so shine before men that they will see my good works and glorify my Father who is in heaven. Father, Lord God Almighty, as a woman, my life will shine. As a daughter of Zion, my life will shine. In the name of Jesus Christ, as a pastor, my light will shine. Oh God, as your servant, my light will shine. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Bible says Jesus came to serve and not to be served and to give his life a ransom for many. Father, give me a fresh understanding of what it means to be your servant, oh God, so that my light can shine the right way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We're going to go to Isaiah 54, 17. And I want us to declare this boldly over our lives. It says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. Sin is a weapon. It's a weapon from the pits of hell. And it is to take you off. It's to deny, of, uh, to deny us of what the Lord has done for us. It's to make us less than what God has created us to be. So it says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Sickness is a weapon to cut us short. Poverty is a weapon of the enemy to ridicule our lives. We are going to cry out. Greed is a weapon. Pride is a weapon. Foolishness is a weapon from the pits of hell. So we are going to cry out and say, Lord, no weapon that is formed or fashioned against me shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against me in judgment, 
I, I will, God will condemn and I condemn now. The Bible says, this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and the righteousness is for me, says the Lord. I want you to cry out and say, no weapon formed or fashioned against me shall prosper. Amen. And I'm not a backbiter. You need to speak to yourself. You need to say, no, I'm not sexually immoral. That is a weapon. Sin is a weapon. Mm -hmm. Sin is a disease. It's from the pit of hell. Powerlessness is a weapon. Mm -hmm. Lack of interest in the things of God is a weapon from the pits of hell. Mm -hmm. Cry out and say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Father, Lord, I cry out, oh God. Discouragement is a weapon. I will not be discouraged in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Distraction is a weapon. I will not be distracted in Jesus' name. Lack of interest in the things of God is a weapon. I will not lose interest in the things of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Passivity is a weapon. I will not lose in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now we are going to Isaiah, the same Isaiah 54, verse 14. You are going to declare over yourself because God will establish us this year like never before in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want us to declare and say, in righteousness, we shall be established. Amen. Speak it over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In righteousness, I gave me solar will be established in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall be far from oppression and I shall not fear and I shall be far from terror. Fresh and it shall not come near me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's unmute ourselves and pray together. In righteousness, in the Amen. 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 Quickly, let's go to Genesis 12, verse 2. Let's go there quickly as we round up. Thank you, Jesus, for today. We worship your God. We give you praise, oh God. I want you to open the Bible if you can. <clears throat> Amen. So Genesis 12, verse 2, the Amplified Classic is what I want us to declare over our lives. It says, and I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you with the abundant increase of favors and make your name famous and distinguished and you'll be a blessing dispensing good to others Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. We are going to agree that we will live a life that is blameless before God and that there are no spots, no blemishes in Jesus' name. And God will make of us a great nation and bless us with the abundant increase of favors and make your name, your name famous and distinguished not famous and despised in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. not famous and disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It says you'll be a blessing, dispensing good to others. We become dispensers of good in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Christ the Lord and say, I will not lack any good thing because I will walk uprightly and I'll be a dispenser of good. Unmute yourself. Let's pray together. Thank you. 
Amen. And as we go, declare over yourself that the Lord be a wall of fire around you and the glory in the midst of your life. Amen. Thank you very much for joining. Father, we declare boldly that you be a wall of fire around us and the glory in the midst of us. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We we'll worship your God. We will not lack any good thing in the mighty Amen. name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, No good thing you withhold from those who walk uprightly. So Amen. they're going to walk uprightly in Jesus' name. In the Amen. mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. you have broken every yoke that was on our shoulders and we begin to walk Amen. uprightly with our Amen. heads held high in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you. We are praying again God tomorrow. Bless same you, time. Pastor. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. In my life, saturate me, oh Lord.